have a new student today. Hi, I'm Liz. It's nice. What's up with your arm? Is that why your parents called you Liz? Because it's short for lizard? <laughs> the real life lizard. Why are you recording? I just check out her arms. <laughs> Do not post that. Oops. I just did. Hey guys, it's me, um, Precious Abasi. I don't know why my hair looks crusty. <clears throat> yeah, I just finished filming my first video. Here's my makeup, basically. The first video, day one to my birthday, you know, yeah, today's September 1st. So, So, um, well, I'm going to be reacting to a video. Hi, I'm Liz. It's nice to- What's up with your arms? Mia, that is not an appropriate question to ask. I'm so sorry. Go on. No, it's all right. I have this skin condition called eczema and- Hey, do you have a sec? Yeah, sure. Be right back. No problem. Anyway, as I was saying- Maybe you should put some lotion on. Here. Catch. Oh, that won't change anything. You see. Or see a doctor or something. So you don't look like such a lizard. Hey, that's not funny, Mia. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't talk about someone's appearance like that. Don't. That's so mean. That's very mean. Especially high school students. Like, I don't know. That's crazy. Don't tell me what to do. Wait. Is that why your parents called you Liz? Because it's short for lizard? <laughs> I'm back. Oh, no. That was the height of it. What? I mean, it's possible her name is Elizabeth. What the? Sorry about that. Oh, that's very rude. Where were we? Can I just take my seat, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah, nice catch, Mia. Thanks. That's two outs. One more, and green team wins. He lost the game for us. Sorry. It's fine. It's just a game. Yeah. That could have happened to any of us. Are you kidding me? That would have never happened to me. I don't know how I felt. I feel really bad. Here's the ball. Ew, I don't want to touch that. You think I'm trying to get what you have? Oh, it's not contagious. It's on your legs, too? That's disgusting. I'm getting out of here before your disease rubs off on me. Sorry you had to deal with that. Yeah, me it can be a real bully sometimes. I just don't know what to do. I can't control the skin I was born into. Please, don't let her get to you. Yeah, here, I'll take the ball. Thanks. Lunch time. So, how do you like it at school so far? It's pretty good. For the most part, at least. So, why'd you transfer here anyway? Well, to be honest, I used to get bullied a lot at my old school for my eczema. My mom saw how bad it was getting, so she pulled me out. I can't believe you had to go through all that. I'm so... Check out Liz, the, the real-life lizard. What are you doing? Why are you recording I just hope everyone on TikTok sees the real-life reptile we have here. Check out her arms. <laughs> Bro! Stop! <laughs> That's so mean, Mia. Yeah, you don't have to be such a bully. Do wow. not post that. Oops, I just did. <laughs> Hopefully she goes back to her old school so none of us catch whatever nasty condition she has. Hey, Lizard. Look, you're famous. The video I posted has already over 10,000 views. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. How was your day? It was good. We have this new girl. Yeah. What in the world is this? How did you find that? 
That's besides the point. Mia posted a video making fun of a new student with eczema. What? She's been making fun of her all day. Yeah, she even made Liz cry. Be quiet! Rats. I can't believe what I am hearing. I am so sorry she did that. I'm going to have to tell the principal about this. Wait, please, let me talk to her first. I will make sure that something like this never happens again. Fine. You got lucky your mom just saved you, Mia. Otherwise, you'd probably be getting suspended. Okay, you know the funny part? Like, this woman, the Mia's mother, right? In most of her videos, she's like always the mean mom, always like, you know, always has her kids back and always like bullying kids, you know, she's always so weak at the people. But I'm surprised like in this video, she's calm, like, it's weird. Because at first I thought like she was going to be like, oh, she's my daughter, don't talk to her that way, da 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 but okay, that's a tweet. <laughs> What in the world were you thinking? Delete that video right now. It was getting so many views. Oh, super piano and start learning like you always wanted to. <laughs> Kayla, I thought you were practicing piano. Yeah, I... There, it's deleted. You should never make fun of someone for how they look. How would you like it if somebody treated you or me that way, huh? Well, thankfully we don't have lizard skin, so we won't have to deal with that. Mom, what's wrong? You have no idea what I used to deal with. You see, when I was a little girl, I also had really bad eczema. I hated going to school because all the kids would make fun of me. I'd try to avoid ever showing my skin, but sometimes it wasn't possible. I'd get called names and laughed at, all for something I couldn't even control. I was constantly insecure and bullied. I can't even count how many times I left school crying, never wanting to go back again. So you see, I had to deal with it too. Oh my gosh. You also had eczema? But wouldn't you still have it? Wouldn't I have it too? A lot of people have it. Some of us outgrow it. And it doesn't always transfer to kids. Wow, I feel so bad. You had to go through all of that. It really hurt, but I got through it. What you should be feeling bad about is how you treated Liz. You're right. Would you mind giving me a minute? Hey, Liz. I... Just leave me alone. I don't need you calling me any more names or making more videos of me. Actually, that's not why I'm here at all. I deleted the video. Then why are you here? To apologize. I should have never made fun of you for the way you look. Can you please forgive me? Sure. But are you sure you want to shake my hand? Better yet, how about a hug? So you see, you should never make fun of someone for how they look. Yeah, that's correct. I feel like not only eczema though, like, you know, cuties that are like, have acin, like pimples, like there's, some, there's this girl. We're gonna call her girl A. In one of my schools in Nigeria, yeah. Um, she had acin, her face, her hand, her leg, you know, she, she, she came as a new student just like this. 
to my school and um like and around that time was when like the chicken pox was raining and all that so uh, so we, we felt it was chicken pox right so it was when like we got to talk to her girl a we got to talk to her talk to her and she was like no that's a thing and you know that it started off with her face and now it's going to her you know her hand her leg and all that and we like we when i say we i mean the girls in the class right we're like okay so is she rubbing any powders or something it's not like we were like bullying her we were just like scared that it was chicken pox so when we got to talk to her you know i think chicken pox is contagious yeah but when we talked to her she was like mm -mm, that um um season like okay so the last time i saw a picture of her a video i mean a picture can be updated but a video and i asked her was it like last one month or last three months and she was like yeah it's gone that she outgrew it and she was rubbing some natural product on her skin skin like using the black so you know using some other things on her body her leg you know and now her skin is fresh I was so happy for her she said in her old school too she, she was bullied you know made people made fun of her people didn't want to sit close to her she was always sitting at the back seat just her you know that's crazy i'm just so happy i don't have like any skin conditions and i wonder how some people feel out there well, this is a very short Dharma video, you know, of showing what people actually go through. So, if you have anybody or you have someone you know or you don't know that has like a skin condition with an eczema, any skin condition at all, just bear in mind that that person cannot control that person's self. Like, it's not like I said, oh, I want this and it's on your skin now. That's how it is. So, even if maybe you don't want to touch the person or hug the person, you know, you're just being like, what word should I use? Like, you're just being careful. Maybe you don't know if it's contagious or something. Just do your research. Ask the person, what's wrong with your body? Go do your own research and know how to avoid it. No, you cannot avoid it. You don't need to hug the person. Like, you don't need to hug or like be too close to the person but still don't like bully the person you know make fun of the person take pictures or videos of the person and post it online to like get views or likes or whatever that is just in your own way support the person by always saying don't worry everything will be okay you know give the person some hope don't be so mean to people that's that's so bad that's so wrong because you don't know if anybody in your generation had it or any of the family members distant family members had or have it don't just go around making fun of people for something you don't have any idea about that's very very wrong hey darden fam please remember that we're not just telling stories we're changing lives period and when we're you changing share lives the content, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Just know that you're changing lives. Like he said, share my video, like it and subscribe. And um, you can just tell your friends about this video. Just know you don't know what people are going through. So don't be making life uncomfortable for them, okay? amount of houses so okay let's just assume that the girl right the mia the um elizabeth the lead they didn't say her full name right she she was someone that can commit suicide because of how people are making fun of her 
she will actually do that that's that's the crazy part because you might be like oh i just posted a video of her and all that but you don't know that you're actually starving the person you're stabbing the person you're strangling the person with your words oh i don't know how to explain to you guys you already know just don't be mean to people that's all to people with skin conditions because you don't know what they're going through <sighs> yeah I felt really motivated and good about this video. I just hope it does well. I mean, my last video. What was the last reaction video? Like you're reacting to like amazing people in the world, something like that, yeah. So, something about YouTube is, it's not just about the views, the watch time. Many of you don't watch my videos to the end just watch her first and like come to comment oh girl you're doing well i'm happy you commented but i mean don't you want to watch the full video and know what it's about you know i don't know because and i know it at the same time like i'm not going to lie just watch the full video then i don't know thank you guys for watching my video watch to the end like the video well, if you if you already seen this, I want you to watch to the end.